Okay, and here we are with our Bitcoin node, our SSD. We have our SSD plugged right in to the Raspberry Pi right now. So now all we got to do is plug in our Ethernet cable and our power source for our Pi 4, and uh, it should start booting up. Then we have another uh, task that we're going to do back on the mynodebtc.com website. And that's just a address that they've given us using the IP address for this Raspberry Pi that will uh, allow us to uh, to see it and see what's going on. So here we go. Let's uh, let's connect the Ethernet and the power source. So as I was telling you before, once we get our power into here, I would imagine that we're going to see some lights on the Ethernet side of things. We may see a, a light or two over here on our SSD, and we'll probably see a light indicator near our power source as well. And we'll see the fan come on. So as you can see right now, the fan is not on. So I've plugged the power source in, keep everything nice and neat here. And uh, let's turn the power on. We have a power switch right on, right in line on the uh, cable that was provided. All right, I see that the fan came on. Over here on this side, I had seen red and green lights coming on. Over by the ethernet cable, I've got a green and a yellow. And then I've got a blue one on the hard drive. I did see another one, a red one, there we go. So there was a blue and a red one. We'll see what's gonna happen here. We'll just watch it for a little bit. Like I said, we can't see too much here but we can go back on line and uh, see what's happened and configure the rest of this. So that'll be it for this part of the setup. We're of course going to add this, put this into a nice case, uh, display case with some LED so this can be seen and there'll be a nice talk piece in the house. Try and hide these cables a little bit better. Uh, but this will be it for now. Join us soon on back online to uh, to see what's happening and.